Hello? Hello, mate. Hello, mate. What's Lupia? Yeah. Let's just buy the car, eh? What is he? Three lander. What sort? Sport. Petrol, diesel? Petrol. Yes. Petrol, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what do you want for it? I'm looking for about 1500 quid. What year? 56. Yeah, that's cheap. Yeah, let's come and have a look. You got all the docks with it? Yeah, yeah everything, mate. Sound? I've been a repossession agent now for about 17 years. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice. Cool I got luck. into car repossessing when I left the Navy. I started out as a private detective. Yeah, looks, it looks okay, yeah. Just give, just give me 10. Done a ten private job for a yeah, solicitor, yeah. Right. getting back a car off a toy boy, and he recommended I carried on doing car repairing. Very cheap. So I contacted a few finance companies, and away I went. A cheeky bastard, it's financed to death. Right there. Whoop. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, Dad. Hey, is that my phone? Yeah. Yeah, don't answer it. <laughs> Cheers. Hello? Hi, Sean. Yeah, I've got a muppet here. Trying to sell me a bloody car, a 56 plate uh, Freelander. It's knocked up on finance. Yeah, I've just done it on the computer. Give me your agreement number, then. Leighton Borough Finance. His name's Simon Ellis. The agreement number is 28739475562. All right then, mate, keep them chatting, and I'll give him a call now so everyone get a repossession order. All right, cheers, mate. Unlucky for him, he took it to one of my mates. Yeah, hello. Um, my name's Sean James. I'm ringing on path for Donegal Investigations. We have got a car, um, a Simon Ellis. Can I give you an agreement number? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, Hold it's... Yeah. It's 2873 Okay. Do you want the reg? No, no, it's just come up. GS56, GGS. That has been flagging up on our system for the last two days. Basically, I know where this car is going to be in an hour. Where we take our trucks to be fixed, um, the guy has actually gone in to try and sell it and the bloke's just rung me. And we know where we know where he's going to be, we can get down there and we can be ready. Well, it's probably about 45 minutes now. We can be there and we can get the car for you. You don't get it, please. That would be uh, fantastic. Right, do you want our email address so you can send over the repossession warrant? You can't do anything without a repossession order. But in this day and age, quick email and you've got it. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Hi, Sean. All right, yeah, just just tell them to go away and come back in an hour. We definitely have that car. I've got the, I've got the paperwork coming over. Needed Steve to get the car back there. I needed him to get it in a location where we could repo Hello, it. Mate. Cheers, Sean. Try, son. Try. Brilliant. Let's give H a ring. Yeah, yeah, mate, it's sound. It's a nice, clean car. If you give me an hour, uh, put my hand on it there, shake my hand, and uh, come back in uh, an hour and I'll have you the money. Sorry, All right then, matey. Yeah, cheers, cheers pal. All right, mate, whereabouts are you? Down the yard with Paul. You're down the yard with Paul, right, stay there, we've got a repo to go and do straight away. No Midland Star, where we take our truck to? Yeah. Some donuts only gone down there to try and sell him a car, and it's on finance. No way. Yeah, 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 I'm coming to pick you up now, and then we're going straight away, mate. Why am I putting my boots on? Yeah. Do you want to do the zip up for me? Yeah. I'm going to work. Whoa! Who gave you strong muscles like that? You did. I did. <laughs> I wish I could go out and play in the garden all day. Lucky H was at the yard. I had 45 minutes to get H and the truck at the location. Please. It's neutral, is he going to neutral? Yes, but handbrake on. Handbrake on. 
into neutral, there you go, take the handbrake off, into first. I'm a coming H, I'm a coming. There he is. Basically, people take things out on finance. They may run into difficulty paying for it, whichever the reason is. If break the contact with the finance, we get a phone call. We'll get details of their last payments, whether there was abusive right. on the phone, just general info about, about that person. So if they're an arsehole, we'll know. Yeah, this bloke, he's um, just took it to Steve's garage, like I said on the phone, yeah. and well, he tried to sell it to him. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just go and park up. Steve knows we're waiting, so let's go and park up, park up on the side street. Right. Just wait for him. Okay, cool. I mean, it's not it's not an easy job, but if you've got 10, 10 jobs in a day, finish the first one, move on to the next one. Even if you get arrested, you've still got jobs to do. So once they let you out, you go and finish your work, and then you go on. That's how it is. Good old Steve. I've known Steve for ages. Couldn't have picked the worst garage to pull up in. He's going to have a nice surprise, isn't he? <laughs> he can sell his car, doesn't he? Oh, Done about nice, but yeah. He's going to like it. He's going to see the error of his ways. <laughs> Here you go, I'm sorry lads, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for trying to get a finance company out their money. Shouldn't have been selling it, sorry lads. Yeah, okay. Here's a key, fair cop. This happens more than you think. A lot of people do try and sell their cars while they're actually on finance. They think the finance company aren't going to know. But every time they try and sell their vehicle, it flags up on the system. Right, mate, so what I'm going to do, the garage is down there. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the next street, hook up round, See that street there? Yeah. We'd be able to just literally pull in there, wait for him, we'd we'll see him if he comes in then. Finding the right place to wait is key at this moment in time. All right then, there's a the garage. Pull up here and wait for him, H. And now the waiting begins. One hour, two hour. We waited half a day before. I said. That's my waiting. That's my waiting thing. <gasps> you should take your job more seriously, H. I do. <laughs> Come on, give us a... <gasps> That's it. That's a good one. While we're waiting, this is our waiting thing. <sighs> These two old farts. Look at him. I'm smoking his pipe like Popeye. And both after three H. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's waiting around. It's supposed to be repo man. I don't mind the repos. It's a bloody waiting, isn't it? Mm. Imagine if he has actually sold it somewhere else. And we sat here like a couple of donuts. Mm. Well, he hasn't sold it somewhere else. Well, you hope not. Oh, come on. He's been spooked, hasn't he? Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's been spooked. Unless he's actually gone to another garage and then they've turned around and credit checked it in front of him. And they've said, oh mate, you've, it's flagging. Is it warning system? It'll come up how many times it's been checked. Mm. It's old fart again, isn't it? Mm. Puffing away with his cup of tea. Oh, is that him? That's him, isn't it? Looks like it. What did he stop for? Cooked us. No, it's at the wrong angle to catch us. Right, so you have to box him in, mate. Right. Right, mate, is it Simon? Is it Simon, yeah? Yeah. What's do you want to have a gun chat in the office? What's his about? It's yes, right, do you want to just go and have a chat in the office? Yeah, no problem. The first two minutes of a repo are key. It takes about a minute to two minutes for their brain to realise what's actually happening. No one will hassle you, no one will get in your way, they are confused. So literally you've got one to two minutes to get the job done, get in there, hook it up, 
After two minutes, the customer then starts to realise what the situation is. People don't act like you think they're going to. Oh, is it Simon Ellis? Yeah. Right, there's a repossession order for your motor vehicle. No, no, there is. There is? There is. Is that standard finance on it? Anyway, anyway. You've got nine months on it. Who are you? We're from a finance company. We're working finance on half of the finance company. I'll pay for that car, mate. Yeah, pay for it. You've got about nine months outstanding. So what have you been doing then? Nothing, I just, I just set the HBI on the car, mate. And it's well, come so up. what are you doing, checking the HBI car on that? Gonna, well, I'm just going to check it, isn't it? Well, if it's bloody knocked it's, up. You've come here to sell me a car, no. you don't own it. Yes, I do own the car. You've done a credit check on a different car then, mate. No, it's that car. You see you've got the resort number plates. It's plate. that car. You're shooting, no, it's not. That is my car and I've paid for the car. Well. So you bring these. Yeah, these. I do, yeah. I've HPI'd it and it's what? knocked up on finance. No, it ain't. I'd have given you the 1500 quid oh, yeah. and I'd have had the car took no, off me. No, you, and the car's you don't own it, mate. You don't own it, mate. That car's all right. You don't own it. So you bring the fucking big well, big edge man, do you? Yeah, 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 I do, yeah. yeah. Now the penny's finally dropped. He's taken out on Steve. So you promised me 1500 quid for my car and I want it. Yeah, well, you don't own it. What? You it's don't my own the fucking car, car mate. It's Isn't fucking a problem. It's a finance company. It's not piping up at all when I'm talking. But I'm still a finance company. I don't give a shit. So if Steve had bought the car without checking, he might as well just set fire to his money. So he promised him 1,500 quid. Mate, you ain't getting nothing for the yeah. car. It's I'm being repossessed. i quid. It ain't getting repossessed. I'm taking you in nowhere, mate. You're going to fucking tell me. though, yeah. You and your you mate head there as well, yeah? Two of you, is there? Yeah? yeah, yeah two of you, you fucking are, mate. I could hear quite a bit of shouting. But I'm securing the car. Come on. Come on. That is my job, secure the vehicle. Oh, and if it's, if it's outnumbered, maybe, then yeah, I'll lock up the car. Put the keys in my pocket and go and help him out, but the vehicle is what we come for. You two, come on, then. give me an order if you want. Mate, all we do is look that up. Sean has to take care of that, I'll take care of this. Yeah, come on, then. You want it? Only in the emergencies will I have to get out and leave the car unattended. Ah. Oh, down. Oh, just calm down. Go and get H! Go and get H! He was a big bloke and he wasn't calming down. It's kicking off H! When Steve popped his head out to call me in, I knew it was kicking off. Same old, same old. Oh, yeah, another one there is a three on tough one. Yeah? Just calm down, mate. Just calm down. Even when H turned up, he still wasn't backing down. Well, you should have paid for this. Fuck your garage, I'm telling you now. Fuck your garage. And you're a grassing bastard. No, fuck you. What you What's he going to do? You're gonna, he's not going to lose yeah, out of money, is he? Fuck you now. You ain't taking the car. You ain't taking it nowhere. Right, fucking keep him in here, H. I'll go and hit the car up. Same mate. Keep him in. Just one of the things, eh? Yeah. At this point, I left H with a customer so I could go and get the car hooked up. You ain't taking it nowhere, mate. Trust me, you are. You're not. It's been paid for. Obviously, I don't know. Yeah, that's been paid for. Why are we here? What? Why are we here if your car's been paid for? Because he knows you. He does all his thing, he's on his truck. He's already said. Obviously, he's trying to sell it and it's being flagged. <coughs> no, I'll pay for that car. And you're a prick. The only thing I'll that remains you. to be decides at the minute is whether you're going to give us the car keys. No chance of getting the car keys. You don't really need the car keys, <coughs> it just makes it easier. That's it. You ain't getting anything. You're not getting nothing off all me. Right. Both of you, hand that one. I'll tell you that now. And you, I'll tell you what, you watch your back here, I'll tell you that. You normally get a lot of threats in these situations. Even when he's done fighting, the abuse just keeps coming. Put the gun. No, put the car in. You seat. said to me, come back in there and there's 1,500 pounds there. There would have been. He said, I got two levies, one to set my car away. Thank you. No. You can check that off there. Mate, Same thing going. there, mate. Mate, you, you can check me going off there. Gone. Where's going to be on? Do you got the keys, have you? I've got the keys here, mate. When he patted his pockets, I knew he didn't have a key. H. Go and see if your keys are in his jacket, quick. Fucking hey, where's his jacket? 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 Yeah, check the fucking road, Taking it away, yeah. Is that how you get off on things, is yeah. it? Yeah. Taking things away off people. Yeah. yeah. It's good, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Pays me mortgage. Right I fucking ain't going to pay me mortgage. Idiot. Any idiots in there, though? Both idiots. All three of you idiots. We've got the keys now. There's no need to tow it. It's just easier to get in it, start it, and drive it off. Oh, oh look how big I am. Look, I can take a car away with keys. <laughs> No. When the customer knows he's lost, that's when the sarcasm comes. Ooh. 
I'm taking this car away, look at it. When the customer's given us abuse, it's better to work through it, keep them distracted so you can get the car away. Yeah, you have your car back. Are you going to get our back? I'm having it back. I'm having it fucking back. Out. I'll have it back. I'll guarantee I'll have it back. Out. Go on. Yeah, just repeat himself. You're like a parrot. Dickhead. Dickhead. Dickhead and dickhead. Three fucking dickheads. Dickhead with a car though, isn't it? Dickheads. Three dickheads. Do you know the best thing about this? I'm not, a, I'm not a dickhead who's going to be walking home. Fuck off, you're a muppet. Piss off. Yeah. Have a nice walk home. Hey, just take this one out, mate. Can't a taxi. Yeah, you can't even afford your car. Yeah, fuck you, know. Hey, take this out. When you turn up to take a car for a customer, there's normally three stages of repoing. First one, arguing, shouting. Second one, fighting, rolling around on the floor. Number three, as you're taking the car away, cocky comments. Cheers, bitch. Go on. Have, a, no have a nice walk home. Yeah, go on then, piss off. <laughs> go on. Go on, take it home. Get up, bunnies. <laughs> Idiot. This guy's giving it all math, but it's all bark and all bite. Let me show you again. There's a buzzing oh, tension. Oh, 